Where Minsk goes, evil stands you are aside. Back, I see. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. I know he's in here somewhere! Declare yourself. What is it now? Declare yourself. Well. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle! Stay back, or you'll regret it!
Live by the sword. Live a good long time. Stand back. See battle bow. Run, bow, we run. Away. Vita, more. Vita, more. Swords make way, villainy. Hero coming through. But kicking for goodness! Helm sees all. Know that and be judged. May the gods look upon you kindly. Listen to me, my brothers and sisters. Heed my words. We have been chosen as the recipients of a most holy miracle. One that should neither be dismissed nor ignored. I, Gaul, I, who have been stripped of my eyes most mercifully, have been shown the truth that has eluded the sighted. The gods that you worship are false gods, icons that serve to increase the wealth of churches and heathens. Listen to them not! Hold! You speak of blasphemy. The Morning Lord Lathander has always shown his benevolence and power. His presence among us is unquestionable. Is it, priest? I ask all of you to question for a moment if what the priest says is true. Yes, his false god grants him power to fuel his spells, much as any wizard might possess. I say that the churches lie to you. They claim their gods are present when they do nothing other than require your coin to fill their pockets. No, what you're saying cannot be true. The gods have ever protected us. Hmm. Is that so? Have they protected you from famine? Have they protected you from disease? Have they wrought harmony upon Faerun? No, they have not! They lie and cloud your sight to gain your worship of their false images. I have stripped myself of their foul eyes, and I see what is the truth. The truth, I tell you! You lie, you lie! The gods exist! Such words are a horrid affront to the gods! Surely you will pay for this. Quiet! Listen to what he has to say. I call on you to abandon your false gods. They have done nothing for you. Cast them aside and join me on the true path. Join me in the calling of the true sight. What, what does that mean? Shall we tear our own eyes out then? Don't be foolish. What shall we do then? Who shall we turn to if there's no gods? But there is a god. There is the true God. The unseeing eye is here amongst us. 
He offers the faithful a clarity of vision, the true path to the divine. He offers you protection and succor. Do not listen to him. He seeks to poison your minds. Bah, what has your god ever done for me, eh? Hey? I'm poorer and no better off than I ever was. Don't speak to the priest in that tone. The gods will be offended. Don't you hear what he's saying? There are no gods to be offended. I say we see what this unseeing eye has to offer. I, I wish to see you. No, my friends, you do not wish to see. Forget what the years of lies have taught your eyes. You wish to know. You wish to learn. These are the truths that the unseeing eye can offer to you. A truer gift that you'll not find amongst any of these other so-called deities. Come, witness the miracle of the truth. Come and behold the unseeing eye for yourself. And see the true God that is present amongst us. No, do not go with him. I'll do as I wish. I want the truth. Show me the unseeing eye. Yes, show me. Come then, those of you who wish to become the truly faithful, to witness the magnificence of the unseeing eye and the truth he brings. Come with me. What are you doing? Are you mad? Quit your mouth, wench. I, who do not wish to see the truth, that is your business. Come then, my faithful. Follow me. This must not come to pass. The ever-seeing eye of Helm must be made aware of what they intend. You are a stranger to this place. I do not think I have seen you on the streets ere now. 